Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Rila Kuma plushies. And it's basically inspired by the Rila Kuma, Rila Kuma donut, um, the squishy ones. So this is just the felt version. So first you're going to be needing a template. And I'm just using a simple um, picture from Google. And I'll just put the picture down below so you guys can like, copy that one. You're going to need felt. Um, you're going to need a uh, color of your choice for the top part for like the frosting. And then you're going to need like some sort of like light brown, mocha, or any type of brown as for like the back. So that can represent like the donut part. So uh, you're going to need that. You're going to need stuffing. Some scribbles. Just to like put the icing on it. Scissors. Needle and thread. And there's a random red thing over there. And I think that's it. So if anything, I'll just put it in the description box. So first you're going to be needing... What did I put you away? When you do this, you have to cut one of these out. Cut one of your favorite color and just cut it out. Stencil it and then cut it. And then make another one for the brown. So when you're finished, it should look like one of these. So to make the donut hole, which is like this brown one I already have. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, like that. What you're going to do is you're going to make this thing symmetrical so you got, you can cut it. So first you're going to cut it from ear to ear. And then this bottom to the circle part of that. So see? It should look like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut a little, like, a fourth circle over here. I'll show you how it is. I don't know if I can show you like that. Let's see. Okay. Should have a little cutout part like that. So when you open it, it will look like a circle. And don't worry if it's like uneven like this one. Just take your scissor and just cut the inside of it to make it look more even. That should be fine. See? So what you're going to do is lay it on top of each other. So it'd go like that. So the first step is that I can't show it to you because it's going to take too much time. You're going to sew the inside of the loop right here where you can see my eye. So you're going to sew the inside of that. And then after you're done, you have to sew all of here. So I particularly start like on the ear and then going across and leaving a space like right over here in these two middle parts and I think I have one already done if I could find that here we go so this is what I mean see I sewed the inside of it and then I sewed starting from the ear if you can see that start from the ear and go all the way to the other side where now you have a little like hole where you could put all your stuff in it. So now is the fun part where you just stuff it. Let's see if I can do this interestingly. If I can. Oopsie. It's a lot of fluff. My friend says that there's so much fluff, fluff for that one little thing. I'm like, trust me, you need a lot. It could be a little bit hard because you're trying to put it all in one little area. So when that happens, oopsie, start putting it on the top. And don't forget the ears. So basically, um, you could use any template to use for like any of these donuts. So I'm probably going to do a Mickey Mouse in the future. So just do the same thing, cut out like um, a Mickey Mouse head silhouette and then um, just cut it out. Make the same technique for the donut hole but since Mickey Mouse's head is circular, you can make it into a circle rather than an oval because Rila Kuma's head is more mostly oval shaped. This is harder than I thought. Haha, <laughs> silly me. So... 
This is going to take a while. So if this is boring, you guys, just fast forward. I wish I had my chopstick. I can't find where that is. Use the scissor. Push it in there. Shake some to go to the ear sometimes. Shake, shake, shake. Fluff the ear. Okay, I think we're almost done. Okay, I think we're done. So now, now that you're finished, since I always, I always have my uh, needle sewn on already, so I don't have to cut and stuff. So we see how there is a gap. You're going to compress these two together and start sewing in, in, inward, outward motion. So see my needle? I'm just going to weave it in there. One. And just pull. And then just do the same thing to close the Rilakkuma donut. Just knot it, loop, and oopsie, and knot. Just take your scissor and then just cut it. Now you have your Rilakkuma donut. See? And then just Push it in proportion the way that you like it. Some of you guys might like your plushies more firm, some could be squishy. So, ta da! So, next, you're just gonna put your favorite icing. I'm gonna be using these three. So, this is um, shiny, medium blue, neon fluorescent green, and this is glittering crystal. And this one turns translucent, which is really cool. So, just take your really cool donut and then just make the swirls. Let's see, this is working. Er, that's weird. Whatever. I'll just use the blue one for now and I'll just edit it later on. There we go. Then just fill in the gaps if you want. You can leave some like really, really, really gapped out like that. And just take your other color, got some blue paint on me, and do it to the opposite side. So there you have it. You could have multiple, oh I keep on getting scribbles on me. You could mix and match all the colors that you want and you could put as much frosting as you want. And unfortunately I can use this green one. I really wanted to use this. I'll just do it later on. So yeah, that's basically it. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys and yeah, that's pretty it. Happy Halloween guys, alright? See you guys later. Bye. Hopefully this helps. Bye.